Hey folks, Robbie Payne with Chrome Unbox coming at you today with a quick look at Modern Combat 5, a very graphic intensive game running on a Chromebook, the Acer Chromebook R11 to be specific. It is running the Celeron N3060 processor. It is not a top of the line processor. Matter of fact, it's one of the bottom of the line processors. And we're gonna run Modern Combat 5 at 1080p with all the settings cranked up and see how well it runs. And let me tell you, it does pretty well. All right, guys, so here's the setup. We have the Acer Chromebook R11. It is the N3060 processor, um, so it is not a high-end processor by any stretch of the imagination. Actually, a pretty low-end processor. Gets about 8,000 on Octane. It does have four gigs of RAM in it, and we're in docked mode, so we're not running any of the display stuff on this device. It is running to a Quad HD monitor, only rendering at 1080p, though. The Braswell chip is not capable of Quad HD. And then we have paired the, if I get this in focused, the MOGA Pro in HID mode, which means it's just basic Bluetooth controller mode. So any Bluetooth controller would do what we're getting ready to do here. Square back up here. And let's uh, get a game started. All right, we are loaded up here. We're going to deploy in beginning of a brand new game and what you're going to see what i really want to show off in this is how smooth everything renders i have all the 3d objects rendered at full capacity and i have uh 60 frames per second now i'm recording in 30 frames per second so you won't completely get to see that but hopefully it'll come across how smooth uh, this all is because it is absolute butter and again this is on a processor that's not great It's hard to do this and not watch the camera at the same time. I'm not the best at this game. I'm not the worst either, but really not worried about how I play here. It doesn't seem like there's too many people in the room, which is interesting. I don't know how to bring up the score. Nope. One of the reasons I like playing this game is usually the rooms are full really quick. Um, so something might have happened here. Hey, I got a teammate. So that's kind of cool. It is about dinner time, so we may have a low crowd here. But honestly, what I wanted to show you doesn't even require anybody else in here. I just wanted to show you how beautifully this thing renders. How quick and smooth everything is. Uh, all movements, everything. There's no frame rate drops, nothing. And this, again, is on pretty much as low-end hardware as you can get in a Chromebook right now. So imagine when we start seeing Skylake. I'm sitting here talking, I can't get this guy. I'm gonna stab him. Gotcha. Um, when we start seeing Skylake and um, some of those other ones, uh, the, the games that are gonna be able to be played uh, on Android if, if they get developed, I mean, are just, it's crazy to think what, what could happen, uh, what stuff we could see. That's so encouraging. So that's about it, guys. Um, if you have a Chromebook that runs Android apps and you like playing Modern Combat, uh, hit me up. And we'll uh, maybe join up and be on a team or something. But uh, hopefully this is just to show uh, what could be possible in the future. And something that could be really fun, obviously, right now for you to play. But um, what could happen in the future with games via Android apps on Chromebooks. Um, because even the even the cheapest ones run them really really well but that's it for this one guys we'll see you in the next one if you like this video hit that like button subscribe beneath and until next time we'll see you